I'm Chris Haskell for the Cool Teacher Podcast, and this is my tip of the week. Hi. Now, one of the great things about Web 2.0 is it gives us the ability to embed items, whether that be as simple as a video or as uh, complex as maybe RSS. But the idea that we can take objects from other places and bring them to bear in the pages that we want brings that internet functionality to a very specific location. Um, in the old days, when we used to use a learning management system, say like Blackboard, if we wanted to use a discussion board, we would have to leave the area where we were reading and interacting with the information to go to that discussion board. We had to leave the, uh, the activity, basically, to start the conversation. Well, a new tool called Shout Widget, rather Shout Box, is available now for embedding a discussion board where you'd like to have it. Let me show you what, you, what I mean. Now, um, here in uh, a lesson that I uh, taught this last week, I put a discussion board right next to the picture, which could have been a video or anything else I wanted them to interact with, so that they had the opportunity to read each other's ideas and interact with that thing right at the source. I love this idea. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to go to the shoutbox.widget.me. You'll find this link on the Cool Teacher website. And it automatically gives you a new free shoutbox, the HTML code for that. If you want uh, a different discussion board, you can simply hit the refresh button and it gives you a new code. You can even update the information here, width, height, and otherwise, of that box. I'm going to simply select it and copy that. Now I'm going to go to the blog, for example, that I want to paste it in. I put a video above it already, and I'm going to simply paste my HTML code into the HTML tab of, this is just uh, blogspot.com. Take a quick look at it. See, there we've got our video, there we've got our shout box. You know, I'm not crazy about the size of that. Let me fix that. So I can actually go through right here. I notice the width and the height. That's the video. Here's the width and the height of the discussion board. I'm going to make the width of the video the same as the width of the uh, box. I'm going to change that to 245. You can do that simply by changing the numbers. Let's take a quick look here. There's our shout box. There's our video. They're the same size. And I'm going to publish my post. And here's what it looks like. I've got the video. I've got the question, what do you think? And I can have people interact with that, signing in their name, and leaving their message right there. It's a pretty fantastic tool. And again, it's called Shoutbox. Give it a try. For more, check out the Cool Teacher Podcast or coolteachers.org. Thank you.